Hi, uh, I saw many uh, questions about uh, removing uh, flywheel from uh, chainsaws. Uh, lots of them uh, make a uh, make a pulley with three bolts here. It's uh, I think it's the best way, but for most people, not that handy. I just remove the bolt. Don't forget to put a, a wire in. See a lot of more that's it's kind of using like like this kind of wire. You uh, tough one. It's a use. Uh, I take off this ring, this spring ring, and I bolt this on like this. I have to watch out for the fingers. Don't get caught on, caught on it. I'll put it here for a moment. If they put on it, you can't get it loose. Yeah, like this. Use it like this. Like the same height. Like this. So you hit both. Not only the, the nut, but also the crank. So. Let's see if I can find a nice position. Let me see. Uh, put something on side there. Let's see. So like this. So hope you can see it like this. And what to do is just hold it like this and let it free. So let's free swing. That's the Easy way, just hit it like this, and it's free to go, and it's blocked by the nut. So and here you go. Now it's free. You see, no real damage. I'll make pictures later. Get the nut off. <coughs> it's not the the, re the best ma manner, ma ma best way to get uh, the fly wheel off. But if you don't have anything. Like pullers or welding equipment to do so. Here you go. It's free. And see the thread? It's not damaged. See? It's all good. No problem. This way you can loosen your flywheel. No, uh, no string wire hanging to falling off the saw. Just like this, free swinging is the easiest way to remove the flywheel without a puller. Cheers.